Hi, welcome to Just Trading. In this video, our team give you an analysis with the information we got after the closing day of July 10, 2020. Our objective is to give you suggestions to trade with less risk and higher capital return. Remember to stop the video at any time, if you want to look at it carefully. Here, we show you an example of the stock's timestamp that you can find on the video's comments. You can click on the timestamp and go to the stock's details. SP500 ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Dow Jones Industrial ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. NASDAQ 100 ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Corporate bond ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the market sectors table. There is a strong opportunity to buy energy sector EDF. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 3.3%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $36.91. For call option, a possible call price is at $1.86. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell material sector EDF. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 4.4%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $57.44. For put option, a possible put price is at $1.39. Energy sector ETF belongs to the bear low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of energy sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Financial sector ETF belongs to the bear high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock stable of financial sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Visa Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 1.5%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $196.28. For call option, a possible call price is at $5.94. On the other hand, there is a weak opportunity to sell Goldman Sachs Group. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 8.6%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $199.6. For put option, a possible put price is at $8.56. American International G is a mild sell suggestion. It is on a trade low class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 2.0%. You may expect now a sell return of 2.6%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $29.63. In addition, we suggest to stop selling American International G. If it is over 3.80% of your stock price trade. On the put option table, American International G has a striking price at $30. For this option, the actual put price is at $1.29. But we expect a possible put price at $1.4. Charles Schwab is a weak sell suggestion. It is on a bear normal class. 
In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 1.6%. You may expect now a sell return of 4.3%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $34.29, but we expect a possible sell price of $35.1. In addition, we suggest to stop selling Charles Schwab, if it is over 1.70% of your stock price trade. On the put option table, Charles Schwab has a striking price at $36. For this option, the actual put price is at $2.22, but we expect a possible put price at $1.91. JP Morgan Chase is a weak sell suggestion. It is on a bear high class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 2.5%. You may expect now a sell return of 7.5%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $96.66. In addition, we suggest to stop selling JP Morgan Chase. If it is over 1.85% of your stock price trade. On the put option table. JP Morgan Chase has a striking price at $97. For this option, the actual put price is at $4.38, but we expect a possible put price at $3.8. Morgan Stanley is a mild sell suggestion. It is on a trade low class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 1.0%. You may expect now a sell return of 4.7%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $49.76. In addition, we suggest to stop selling Morgan Stanley. If it is over 5.45% of your stock price trade. On the put option table, Morgan Stanley has a striking price at $50. For this option. The actual put price is at $2.03, but we expect a possible put price at $1.87. Visa Incorporated was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Visa Incorporated is a bare normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return off. You may expect now a buy return of 1.5%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $195.46. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $187.35. On the call option table, Visa Incorporated has a striking price at $185. For this option, the actual call price is at $9.5, but we expect a possible call price at $5.94. Real estate sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of real estate sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a weak opportunity to sell American Tower. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.5%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $264.31. For put option, a possible put price is at $6.59. Healthcare sector ETF belongs to the Bolo class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of healthcare sector. There is a weak opportunity to buy Bristol Myers Squibb. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 7.9%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $58.58. For call option, a possible call price is at $1.89.
Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Amgen Incorporated is a weak buy suggestion. It is on a bull normal class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 1.5%. You may expect now a buy return of 8.2%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $247.06. But we expect a possible buy price of $243.7. In addition, we suggest to stop buying Amgen Incorporated. If it is below 0.60% of your stock price trade. On the call option table, Amgen Incorporated has a striking price at $240. For this option, the actual call price is at $11.3. But we expect a possible call price at $7.57. Industrial sector ETF belongs to the bear high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of industrial sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Emerson Electric. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 5.3%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $60.3. For call option, a possible call price is at $1.86. On the other hand, there is a weak opportunity to sell waste management. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.8%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $102.96. For put option, a possible put price is at $3.15. 3M Company was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that 3M Company is a bare normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of half a percent. You may expect now a buy return of 0.8%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $154. But we expect a possible sell price of $154.22. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $147.33. On the call option table, 3M Company has a striking price at $150. For this option, the actual call price is at $5.38. But we expect a possible call price at $3.75. material sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of material sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell air products chemicals. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.0%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $263.03. For put option, a possible put price is at $11.49. Discretionary sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of discretionary sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Netflix Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 8.7%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $508.72. For put option, a possible put price is at $27.73. Consumer Staples ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of Staples sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy CVS Health Corporation. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 0.1%. 
you may buy it at a maximum price of $62.9. For call option, a possible call price is at $2.06. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. PepsiCo Incorporated is a strong sell suggestion. It is on a bull low class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 1.2%. You may expect now a sell return of 1.1%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $134.13. In addition, we suggest to stop selling PepsiCo Incorporated. If it is over 0.30% of your stock price trade. On the put option table. PepsiCo Incorporated has a striking price at $135. For this option, the actual put price is at $2.93, but we expect a possible put price at $2.8. Technology sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of technology sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a weak opportunity to sell IBM. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 5.4%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $117.12. For put option, a possible put price is at $3.7. Communication sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of communication sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Utility sector ETF is a weak sell suggestion. It is on a bare normal class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 0.8%. You may expect now a sell return of 3.4%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $57.09, but we expect a possible sell price of $57.6. In addition, we suggest to stop selling utility sector ETF, if it is over 2.35% of your stock price trade. On the put option table, utility sector ETF has a striking price at $58. For this option, the actual put price is at $0.97, but we expect a possible put price at $0.94. Let's look at the stocks table of utility sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Nextera Energy. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 4.0%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $250.59. For put option, a possible put price is at $11.1. Next Era Energy is a strong sell suggestion. It is on a bull high class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 2.1%. You may expect now a sell return of 4.0%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $250.59, but we expect a possible sell price of $256.88. In addition, we suggest to stop selling Nextera Energy, if it is over 2.35% of your stock price trade. On the put option table, Nextera Energy has a striking price at $260. For this option, the actual put price is at $10.55 but we expect a possible put price at $11.1. This ends the analysis of our team that gives you a good start on your trading day. Please, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, 
share it and leave it a like if you find it useful. Thanks for following us. We hope to see you on our next Just Trading video. Bye.